Well, we have truthexposedradio.com as our uh, radio website. We actually just put up a new website, which is uh, newworldactivist.com. That's a new site we're working on. It's going to be like an alternative media website. We're gonna what we're really trying to do is pull the whole community of everyone that gets active. All the subcultures. You know, from Chile, the guys down there in Chile. By the way, it's Rachel French, not French. Yeah. They brought her along. I just met her and thought I'd drag her in here. What do you think of all this? Um, basically, uh, yeah, we just try to do what we can to, uh, you know, get the information out there. It's a lot of fun. And we have a great team, and everybody is like a family, like he said. So, you know, we're definitely trying to plan more. Well, it's exciting to get out and talk to people. You know, take San Antonio. More and more they try to have Air Force police and others out uh, policing citizens in the middle of San Antonio. And I know some folks down in San Antonio have exposed that as well. I mean, we've got to get in their face or they're going to get in our face. And then the I mean, here's CPS is to start taking people's fat children. Next, it'll be if your children are one pound overweight. They're trying that in Arkansas. These people aren't going to stop. We've got to teach government they work for us. Yeah, because if you don't, they're going to keep pushing it. And uh, I know you saw the news article with the, uh, the video cameras in the kitchens of uh, the cafeterias, the schools, and elementaries. Yeah, the Pentagon runs that. Well, what's wrong with the Pentagon watching children? Yeah, so Sam Are you against America? I, you're Are you against the troops? Are you against the troops being used as guinea pigs with experimental shots? Are you against the troops drinking bisphenol A? Look, troops, police, you're all being murdered by the globalists as well. Time to grow up and realize our country's been hijacked by a scientific dictatorship. Okay, grow up. Look at Fast and Furious, your terrorist masters shipping guns down there that have killed three Border Patrol agents. Are we Al-Qaeda because we don't want to give guns to the cartels? I guess we are. Yeah, well, that's all it's all about. I mean, everyone operates in this mainstream illusion. That the whole system, I mean... America's good! Yeah. America doesn't exist anymore. And only by admitting that will we get it back. Well, that's what we say. I mean, you know, you look at the mainstream illusion, and you have, you know, your big talk show hosts like Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, you got, you know... Ed Schultz, all these guys, they talk about, and they stay within the mainstream illusion, they talk about the 9% unemployment. We know the real unemployment. No, they're tossing a football back and forth. It's yeah. all, yeah. It's they prop game. each other up. It's a little illusion. It's a little game that they put up. It's like, you know, just creating this little fairy tale world, and for some reason, you see the most mainstream media organizations, they operate within it. And Meanwhile, the real folks running it are a bunch of murdering terrorists spiking your water with carcinogens and radioactive isotopes. It's new too much. Does that make me crazy? Make me crazy. Does that make me crazy? Well, possibly, my friends. Uh, wow, it's great having these folks in studio. It is going to be the young people. It's going to be the middle-aged folks, the old people. It's going to be human beings that stand up and face the facts. And the journey of a thousand miles does start with a single step. Go over when you're having a barbecue with your neighbors, and they're wanting to tell you about LeBron James or whatever, you know, uh, diversions going on, and say, yeah, that LeBron James, that's real interesting. Uh, what about dollar devaluation? What about all these new wars? What about the fact that the president's uh, grabbing dictatorial power? What are we going to do about it? Or are we just people that sit here and watch television and live in this controlled paradigm? And going back to Cody Hess, Cody, you got cut off by the break. We were talking about this false reality yeah. and how people are literally in this trance, actually, uh, technically, physically. I mean, I mean, that's admitted from watching television and the culture. Uh, and if we went to break, you got cut off. Well, yeah, it's just social engineering, basically. I mean, it's this false reality that for some reason, I mean, you have the majority of the public still living in. I mean, when, when they say there's 9.2% unemployment, we all go... Not, not us, obviously, but everyone goes, oh, yeah, 9.2 unemployment. We already know it's way above that. I and mean, we already know that this whole thing in Libya is a war, yet so many people operate within the mainstream illusion saying, yeah, it, it's not a war. It's just a kinetic military action. It's just a, a love. There's love bombs being dropped, you know, like you say. I mean, it's – but everyone operates within it. It's ridiculous. And we're always trying to expose the mainstream illusion because, I mean, the longer that the mainstream is guiding the world – we will be stuck in this, but the alternative media is on the rise, and we are seeing, like, we have stuff right here, internet gains on television as public's main news source. We're always talking about it on our show because we're saying social networking is the way to spread news in the future, and that's why they're, they're trying to go to make it illegal to put you, embed YouTube clips. I mean, how many people watch cool little, you know... Well, YouTube sets it up for you to do that. People want you to. You can set your channel where you can't embed if you don't want. Yeah, but, I mean, they're going to they're gonna try to do whatever they can to stop this, this knowledge from flowing yeah, out, and they're not going to stop this. Yeah, yeah because right now, to. like, we have this headline, 43% of news sharing online is via social media, and that's how people listening can take action, just sharing information. Right here in the same article, it says the study found that 27% of frequent sharers 
Defined as those sharing at least six stories each week, we're responsible for 87% of all news shared online. This keep sharing, keep, keep spreading sharing. the Infowars.com links. We're kicking the, by the way, our Facebook uh, that gets about 300,000 visitors a day, uh, that was just a fan Facebook they gave us, uh, was shut down yesterday and we, for no reason. Uh, oh. Uh, let me see if our Facebook's still up again. Well, the great activists on Facebook that are... It's back. Action. It's back. But the, 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 Listen, Google's been doing all sorts of squirrely stuff. Oh, yeah. They're rolling out their social network, and they want control of this. I mean, they're definitely got their fingers up, up in everything, but po positivity, definitely. Operation Info Jam the System is a, a movement going on Facebook where people are just jamming the White House Facebook page, celebrity Facebook pages, pages to uh, mainstream shows that get uh, high millions of viewers. They're going to their Facebook pages to drop in Police Day 4 and Invisible Empire and Endgame, and they're dropping them in comments, and they're just taking over Facebook and just sharing all this information. Well, let me just say this. Info Jam the mainstream. That's awesome. Uh, by the way, we, we did a uh, Google bomb a few days ago, and lately they've been failing unless I give a really archaic, um, and I forgot to do it today, so we'll do it later in, in, in the week. But that was, the point is they admittedly changed their algorithm to try to block us, and now they've got big indexes of popular terms, can't criticize Google, can't criticize Obama. They admit they're changing their algorithm to block alternative news sites because they're desperate. It shows we're having an effect, yeah. or they wouldn't be trying to block us. Yeah, you're finding holes within the mainstream illusion, within the system. We're finding holes, and then every time we find them, they try to cover it up really quick, and we move to the next hole. And they, they can only do that for so long. And there's going to be a point where we're, we're way ahead of them. We are gaining the numbers. That's what's awesome. I, mean, I look around. We are gaining the numbers. I mean, more and more people are tuning into your show, Alex. I mean, more people, I mean, even at my work, like, I, I wouldn't even really talk about this stuff. People walked up, up to me and see my bumper stickers in my car. You know, 9-11 was an inside job. They're like, oh, you listen to Alex Jones? I'm like, yeah. And people all over the place that are just really starting to really get out there. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I'm an electrician by day, uh, not as not as eloquent as Clark Kent's uh, Daily Planet reporter by day. But, uh, <laughs> you know, but I, I talked to a lot of people on the job sites. And uh, it's like uh, I was talking to some guys about the other day. And he's like, oh, yeah, somebody else gave me some Alex Jones DVDs. And I was like, well, here, I got some for you in my tool bag. Boom. And for war DVDs with the seven movies on it. that uh, are No, the power on. of people. And, of course, we've been doing that pre you know, internet being what it is today, yeah. the power of access television, the power of using whatever medium you can, people are desperate for the truth. They're desperate for alternative information, and that's why uh, we have Senator Jay Rockefeller and others calling to end the free internet as we know it. Former head of the NSA, Hayden, is calling to, quote, end the internet as we know it and force us onto this new controlled internet. But the genie's already out of the bottle, and we're going to continue, even if they did that, with the person-to-person -person DVDs, you know, the person-to-person -person, uh, information. If they shut down all that, we'll have local newspapers, just like the Founding Fathers did. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, I dare them to shut down the Internet. I mean, that'll just get everybody out there on the streets, and they definitely don't want that because that human-to-human -human interaction is way stronger than even the Internet. Well, I mean, uh, again, when I tell this story, I'm not bragging. In fact... Uh, it's the opposite because I don't like listening to my show. I, I, I don't really like a lot of my delivery. You know, sometimes I hear part of my show go, that was really good, that was gold. But a lot of times, I do this a lot. Uh, I tend to do even better interviews when I'm on somebody else's show or when I'm at home with an iPhone because I'm in here for years. You, uh, you know, in a way, it almost psychologically becomes stale and oppressive. I don't like doing this. I have dreams about not doing this. I have dreams where I'm a forester or a doctor or an auto mechanic. Yeah. And, and in the dream, I wake up and I'm not Alex Jones and I'm so happy. It's the opposite because of the great responsibility. But if I told people, the type of phone calls I get, the famous people that call me, I mean, the biggest people there are, but in 99% of the cases, they don't want to come on the show. Um, you know, in some cases they say, well, you can talk about me if you want and say that I support what you're doing, but then I don't even do that. If they're, if they're not a hundred percent in on it, yeah. but, but, but it, it's getting exponential, exponential, exponential. And I use that as a radar ping that all these famous people are calling me showing that this isn't something that's trendy. It's an awakening. It's permanent. It's not like, uh, zoot suits are in and, you know, in the 1950s yeah. or whatever, this, this, this is about reality and a renaissance of awakening. And again, I'm known my ugly fat bulldog mug is known and so I have something that other people who are activists don't I actually get a chance to see how many people are awake and it is incredible exponentially how many people come over to me how many people shake my hand no matter where I am in the world I mean our numbers are much higher than the average person thinks I definitely agree with that because I mean you see it all around us from art to music 
culture. I mean, everything's leaning towards exposing this information. I mean, like the Illuminati influence in the, the mainstream uh, industry, in the music industry. Everybody knows about that now. Yeah. Even Sundance had to make a VH1 style TV show, and Mark Dice was on there about secret societies. And oh, it's everywhere. Like the new Rush songs are about the New World Order and corruption. I hear all these new rock and roll country songs. Uh, it's all about the corrupt, you know, fat cats, and we got to wake up. And, and Muse, who are listeners of the yeah. show, it's everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere, and we're helping it grow. I mean, we're sparking, sparking the fire. Yeah, and info jamming the, info the mainstream. Info jamming, right taking there. action, do, uh, making music, making art, and that's what we're trying to do uh, with our, we're trying to create a website. Uh, we do have the website, newworldactivist.com, highlight artists, musicians, and activists, and just get that going, just that subculture, the next generation, people using all means to get the information out, because it is a new world, everything's changing, and we're yeah. doing something. And that's why the globalist, and, and they admit this in books they've written, try to, hijack countercultures yeah. or try to create false countercultures because in 20 year cycles it always becomes the culture well this is a total awakening true liberty outside the box outside the left right paradigm uh, system and we are the future and that's why the system's trying to come in with tyranny right now because they know their time is short yeah we're trying to jump ahead of the game and highlight that new wave of people using the different means to get the info out, the info culture, whether it's art, music, whatever. We're trying to highlight that, newworldactivist.com, Truth Exposed Radio, and it's going on. I mean, lots of people are waking up, young kids and everybody into everything, and they're doing different things. Like uh, We Are Change Atlanta made the, uh, We Are Change Atlanta made a video where they're using street art uh, to, to paint a picture. I've done it in one of our We Are Change San Antonio videos. I mean, people are doing that. There's so many different ways we can get the ideas across. Absolutely. Uh, uh, talking to uh, Rachel France. Uh, uh, Rachel, as you uh, begin to research more and more of this, how has it changed your view of the world? It's completely changed my view of the world. It turned everything upside down for me, and um, not in a good way, but it is, uh, I don't know, just being able to like feel like I don't know, sometimes you feel that you can't really do anything and it's very frustrating because you're only one person and there's so much, you know, that needs to be done. But if everybody could just, you know, do something, like my thing is uh, having time. You know, a lot of people say they don't have time and um, you can always make time, you know, to do this. Even if it's a little thing, just find your niche. I'm not a political person. I'm not, I'm not really even a person who likes to, you know, speak in front of people or... I'm kind of shy, but... But you're doing it. Yeah, I am. You're doing a good job, too. <laughs> no, but it's just, uh, it's really important, and it's something that you can't ignore. So, you know... Well, that's what's allowed the corruption to grow and grow and grow until they're telling people they can't have tomatoes in their yard. They're telling people you can't speak at city council, even though it's the law that you can. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's just showing that government has gone crazy. We, I mean, we're going to live under the exact amount of tyranny that we put up with. And if everyone just sits back and, and uh, just gets lazy, and that's what's happening in America. I mean, I think we've just gotten lazy. We, uh, we let the mainstream media tell us what's going on in the world. We don't do our own research. And, and, I mean, we just say, hey, you know what? It'll get taken care of. It's just, it's just what happens. It's just politics. No, it's not. There isn't, it's not the left-right battling back and forth, you know, oh, is liberal or conservative. No, this is a system taking over. I mean, we are being hijacked as a nation, as a world, as humanity. I mean, look at the, look what the globalists are doing in the whole world. I mean, they're messing up with the DNA structure of the entire Earth. I mean, they're they're messing. Oh yeah, up our DNA is fried. Fertility's plunging. Cancer's exploding. Yeah. Diabetes is exploding. I got stacks of articles here where they openly talk about getting rid of us. That's yeah. their plan. I mean, that's they want the planet to themselves. And I mean, who really knows at, at the very core exactly what they want? You know, and a lot of people want to know all the answers when we go out there and talk to them. Like, oh, well, tell us how they did this. What they're going to do here? Well, look, we don't know. We're we're seeing the basic framework of what's going on. And I mean, the basic framework is enough to get you up and active and saying, look, I'm yeah. exactly. I mean, if I was a wild pig and I got caught in a trap, I'd want to get out. And, you know, animals know that. Animals yeah. won't eat the GMO, but 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 you know, humans do. In fact, I have all these articles I meant to get to today. I mean, here's one, Fox News, cell phones, cancer, and infertility, and it goes through the fact of all these governments are even admitting and major research institutes after the fact that fertility is plunging, cell phones and rat studies do destroy fertility, uh, double the chance of brain cancers. Um, uh, and again, why was I called a kook 
14, 15 years ago for covering that from studies that were out then. They knew then. Yes. Just now the cancers are exploding. Now they're acting like they tried to protect us from it. And these elitists have their own kids using cell phones. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a, there's a self-destructiveness to it. When the WHO came out with it, that's when the whole mainstream media talked about it. When, when the World Health Organization said, yeah, it's causing cancer, then all, they'll all talk about it. Now it's okay. Now it's okay to talk about it. But when it was, you know, a, a bunch, a big group of people are saying, no, for a long time, it causes cancer. I mean, a lot of people I talked to knew it, but they didn't ever want to talk about that. It was crazy. That was on the fringe. But now, yep, it's out there. And that's what they're going to do with everything. Guarantee you one day they're going to say, yep, 9-11 was an inside job. Just but like they did with Golf of Tonkin. Oh, yeah, it's declassified. Yeah, it never, it never happened.